people usually come to me for they because they've reached the point where they can't quite get the tone they want from banjos on the shelf. They want something more personal, a bit more special, and a banjo they, they're going to hang on to. My customers are from pretty varied careers and that's some very interesting people. There's uh, barristers, vicars, uh, a priest, soldier. The workshop's a dedicated banjo workshop, it's not a guitar stroke banjo workshop. Very much the five string banjo, you know, that's, that's sort of my favourite. I'm a big fan of uh, traditional, um, traditional ban banjos, particularly the stuff between the 1890s and 1940. I wouldn't want to change it too much, to be honest. I think it's, you can apply modern ideas to it and maybe refine some of the ideas. I'd love to make the oldest sound in new banjos, if I could. <laughs> the sounds I personally love, I can usually get them through very traditional techniques and methods. So there's not too much to be gained by reinventing the wheel. That's exactly the kind of instruments I make, I want to make, I want to carry on making. I don't want to see lots of my banjos on eBay. I want people to keep them and it, it's all about tone. If some, somebody comes to me for a banjo, obviously the first thing we do is chat, find out the sort of tone, sort of sound that, that they're going for, who they listen to, very important, because it's, it's a very subjective thing, tone. The first proper instrument I made when I was 16, it was a fiddle, uh, this one here. Never, never quite finished it though. And I worked in various, couple, well, a couple of music shops in Liverpool in the repairs department. I played in a metal band called Usurper. Looking back, uh, we, sh we sh probably hadn't taken ourselves quite so seriously. I think we would have had a lot more fun, you know. I came out of that and started, all the time I was playing in bands and I was still making instruments for fun and doing repairs and things for fun. But, uh, I only really went full time uh, about five years ago. My boss emigrated. I had a little bit of redundancy, and I thought, well, that, that sort of gave me the push to, to do it. Started listening to bluegrass in particular. You know. It's a funny little instrument because when you get your first one, you've got to resist twiddling with it, and I, I couldn't. And there's so many little bits on a banjo, you, you know, you just end up fiddling around with them and, ch and everything changes everything else. Your tailpiece, it affects you know, the sound somewhere else so you can keep, you can drive yourself mad with them, you know. I'm a big fan of block construction rims. The rims are formed with um, six, six blocks to a ring, so it's, you're basically making up three hexagons of wood. Uh, you put them in the lathe, sort of face them up so they're nice and flat, and then stick three of them together. Almost like a, it's almost like a round brick wall with a position. I like to shape the necks by hand. Um, it's just part of the process. I, I, I just enjoy it. It's very, it's quite therapeutic as well. Um, I haven't got any really cool high tech tools for, for doing it, but you don't really need any. It's all knives and chisels. And most recent project is a range of banjos I've called the Lurcher. It's a, a fairly light um, open back. Traditional lines, probably probably the most modern thing on the the block rim. It's an American walnut uh, dial stick. It seems to have been well received so far. I'm very pleased about that. It's had some good write-ups. One of the really nice things is you get to meet the people, and you, you know you, you 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 do make a lot of friends doing this. Uh, it's it's a it's a lovely line of work. I'm very fortunate to be able to you know to to, to stay in it. It's such a nice feeling passing the instruments over and then they play it and it's, it's, yeah, that's what it's all about. I heard an expression once, was it, a banjo's got to sound good or what good is it? And I think that's, that says it all, really. <laughs>